Hey there everybody, you're traveling with Jack, and as the apron says, my heavenly wife Pam. The only traveling we're doing today though, is traveling into the kitchen for a quick and easy dinner that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you'll enjoy it. First of all, we're going to be using a store-bought item, but we're going to give it a little extra spin, some quinoa from Trader Joe's, and we're going to see how this turns out. We're also going to be having some fresh, wild sockeye salmon. So what do you say we get started? First of all, I've got a black skillet here, and I'm going to put some good olive oil in here. Now this is going to be the beginning of our quinoa dish that we're making, and I've covered the entire bottom of the black skillet with some olive oil. Now next up, I've got some crushed garlic. Again, you could do your own, crush your own garlic, and sometimes I do, but this store-bought stuff's pretty darn good, and I believe this is an organic one. So, I'm gonna put my garlic there. It's probably a nice tablespoonful. You can see it there in the skillet. Now, this is kind of our base, and I've done this with other things, as you well know. I'm gonna add some red pepper flakes to the top of our garlic, just like that, okay? So we're gonna let that get hot. Now, I've got a fresh piece of beautiful sockeye salmon. I actually bought a couple, three fillets, and then I froze them individually. And then today it's been in the refrigerator and it's been defrosting. And look at that. Beautiful piece of sockeye salmon, skin on. Of course, you know what we do. We put the skin side down and I want to show you something. This is parchment paper that's on my pan. I have decided I'm not using aluminum foil anymore because I've read too many articles lately talking about how aluminum foil can actually leach into the food. And parchment paper is very much a nice substitute. There's what I'm using. Parchment baking pa uh, paper. And this is a pretty big uh, amount that I have here. I think I paid six bucks for it. And I just feel better about what I'm going to be cooking with there. Now, you know me, on the salmon, I'm pretty simple. There's all kinds of different ways you can uh, season your salmon. I do it different ways. Tonight, though, I just feel like going simple. Just some good old Old Bay seasoning. You know, Old Bay came out of the uh, Maryland area in Baltimore. And they did it on their crab and things like that. And I found that it's good on the salmon as well. So I'm being, and I'm very generous with it. I cover it. And I've already got my oven ready to go on broil. There's our salmon. And I've already sliced up some little butter pallets. And I'm going to put those on there. That's going on top of our salmon over here to the side. Okay, so that's going to be really, really nice. So there we go. I've already got the oven going, so I'm going to put this in. How long, you ask? About 13 minutes on broil. Okay, can you hear our... There we go. That's our garlic, our crushed garlic going. And I have chopped up some frozen asparagus. I chopped it up ahead of time. I'm going to add that to my oil and my garlic that I have. Give it a nice stir. Okay, now that's quickly already getting soft, our asparagus is. Now, here's what I got from Trader Joe's. Quinoa. Have you seen this? Lots of times you have to cook it a long time. You have to boil it and steam it and everything. This was in their frozen section. It's called the Trader Joe's Quinoa Duo. So it's got some other things in here, a vegetable medley. I also check the ingredients on the back. There's nothing bad in here. There's not stuff in here that I can't pronounce. But I wanted to give it a little additional flavor. In this one, it said, oh, just do it with some oil, steam it up. I thought, nah, we could do better than that. So that's why I've taken this approach with some olive oil and the asparagus. Kind of got a base going. So there we go. We're adding that. We don't need a ton. Again, it's just me tonight. And we'll start stirring that around. And you folks, you can hopefully see my skillet good. I've tried to reposition the camera to where you can see it a little better. Okay. So that looks really nice. 
Got some good color in there. And I've found too, on a lot of these prepackaged things, you want to watch the sodium content. This one is pretty low, so it doesn't have a ton of salt. And of course, that's great news. Now, because the contents were frozen, we're going to turn the heat up. And you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put a lid on this, kind of seal in some of the heat. You can hear all the noisy sound effects, don't you? So we put that on there, and that's going to do really well. Hey, do you guys have a little thing to put your spoons on and such? Pam got this years ago, and it's been one of the best things because I don't mess up the stove or the countertop. So I just set it aside over there. Now, most important part of the meal, wine. <laughs> We're having salmon tonight, so I'm having a nice Chardonnay. And, oh, let me go over here. I want to show you the Chardonnay that I bought. I got a great deal on it. I don't know if you guys have Albertsons supermarkets where you are. Albertsons, I think, is part of the Kroger family. And if you buy six bottles of wine, they're, even when they're already on sale, if you get six bottles, they knock an additional 10% off. This is called Bucket List. You see it? Bucket List Chardonnay. It's out of California. And I'm going to tell you, this is a good tasting wine. I've been very pleasantly surprised at how good it is. And it pairs up really well with what we're cooking tonight. Have a little sip of it, see what you think. It's outstanding, if I do say so myself. Now, can you hear that cooking up in there? We added that lid. That's gonna kind of increase uh, the speed of the cooking because the point of this whole meal tonight is to have a quick and easy dinner on the table in 15 minutes or less. In fact, I need to go over here and I've got to get a plate if we're going to plate this, right? So let's take our lid off and take a look at this. Look at that. It is already practically done. Can you see it? And that's asparagus. And you know what I am going to do, though, that I like to add that they don't put much of in these pre-packaged type deals is a little bit of black pepper. Let's see, I know I've got some here. I have got to get a better organized spice drawer. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm embarrassed to show it to you. So, I've got some black peppercorns here. Set this aside. And let's add a little black pepper to it. And again, you could add whatever you want. I'm not here to tell you how to cook. I'm just here showing you how I cook. Now, because this has got a good bit of oil and moisture to it, when we get ready to serve it, we'll use a slotted spoon. Got me one of those. We'll have that ready. Now, another tip that I like to do, and I don't know if you do this, is when I finish with stuff like this, I put it up. It's kind of clean and neaten up as you go. You don't end up with a big messy kitchen. Have you ever noticed, <clears throat> excuse me, have you ever noticed some people, you go in their kitchen, it looks like a tornado hit. Well, it's because they don't clean as they go, and I do. Okay, this is still cooking along. It looks like it's got some carrots and eggplant in it in the prepackaged portion. And then of course I added the asparagus. Now I'm going to take a look. Let's see how our salmon is looking. In fact, I can bring you down here and you can look with me. You get to look inside my oven. How many times have you had to do that? Let's turn the light on. Okay, can you see it? It's looking pretty nice. Give you a close-up view, too, of our dish. There's our quinoa. And again, this is a quick and easy meal. Someday when I become rich and famous, I am going to get a camera operator for this show. Won't that be exciting? So, believe it or not, this dinner is ready to serve almost. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bite of the quinoa here. Whew, it's really hot, I can tell you that. And again, remember I told you on the thing, it said, oh, just put it in a saucepan with a little water and steam it up and it's going to be just fine. I thought, oh, we could do better than that. 
Mmm. It's really good. Should I be surprised? No, I gotta adjust the camera a little bit. There you go, look like it's getting a little dark. Another taste of wine. Mm. So, my goal was to plate this for you. I don't know if we're gonna get to do that because we're waiting on the salmon and I don't want you sitting there waiting on me. I think you know it's all going to be delicious and it was so doggone easy. Again, if you're gonna be at Trader Joe's, hopefully you have one in your area, it's the Trader Joe's Quinoa Duo. Now if I look here on the back, let's see. It's got quinoa in it. Oh, sweet potato, zucchini, red quinoa. It's got a little tomato sauce. I didn't really notice any of that. And then it's got a few spices here and there. It said it had red chili and cayenne pepper flakes, but I didn't really notice it the first time I ever made it. And that's why I added the red pepper flakes. So we've got in here. Okay, this is starting to kind of stick just a little bit. So I'm going to turn my heat way down. I may just turn it off, I think, because it's basically done. So let's turn that off. Let that sit there for just a minute. Okay, what I'm going to do? I told you I'd clean up, right? Let's put the olive oil back up in the cabinet. Okay, here's my garlic. Here's my butter. I'm gonna walk over to the refrigerator. I know this is so entertaining. This is not good television, I realize that. Now see, if this was the Food Network, they'd have a camera following me back over to the refrigerator. All you got to do is hear me do it, right? And then please don't forget, if you can, start using parchment paper as opposed to aluminum foil. It's just way better for you. At least that's what we're told. And I figure, why not err on the side of caution? You know, if they say that aluminum foil is not the best thing going in us, what you think about it is probably not. All right, I'm gonna check on our salmon again. Our salmon looks fantastic. I think it's about done. Now, I'll also show you a trick I do with the salmon here in just a moment. In the meantime, this is looking really nice. Now, it is a tad oily. I'm going to tell you, it's a tad oily. I might have got just a little too much oil, but it's going to have a lot of flavor. And again, we're talking olive oil, and it's good for you. We already know that. I'm just going to go back and look. This is a new one. This was actually an organic olive oil. This is Napoleon brand. They had that on sale. I think this was normal. The regular price on this it was like 14 bucks. It was outrageous, but they had a sale. And then I had a, uh, in my phone app, a coupon. This was at Albertson's, not at Trader Joe's. I do shop them both. I think I ended up getting this for like $6.99. It was a killer deal. And it's got really good flavor as well. So I believe that we are about done. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plate our quinoa dish here, all right? I need to try and look back at you. Oh, look at that. That looks really, really good. And the best part is, this is such a healthy meal. You know something else I could have added to this? And I just now thought of it. I have some leftover pine nuts from another dish that I did not that long ago, and I bet that would have been good in there as well. But that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna move this hot black skillet over here. I'm going to peek in on our salmon again. Oh my goodness. The salmon looks good. Hmm, let me see. Do I have anything else I can tell you? Because I do want to plate this for you. I hope you're watching, still staying with me. You haven't turned off yet. And I know some of you are probably looking going, well, gee, he cooks on an electric stove. Well, gee, if I had gas here, I would certainly switch this out to a gas range. But um, because I will tell you, cooking on gas is a little better. I enjoy that more. But I will tell you, the electric works out just fine. And I've turned it off, so we're good. And just as soon as we hear this start the countdown clock, we're going to pull our salmon out. I think it's, oh, it looks beautiful. And remember on the salmon, all I did was just some Old Bay seasoning and, some, uh, and a little bit of Old Bay and butter. That's all I did. Now you could do other things. I've done lemon pepper. I've also got a special salt. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this. It's called Beautiful Briny Sea Salt. You guys ever seen that? 
We got that at a shop down in Los Angeles a few years ago, and now I ordered online, and this one's called Santa Salt. It's really good. You can do that with just a little pepper, and your salmon is going to be just fine. Speaking of our salmon, I do indeed believe it is about ready to come out, and it is. And there went our clock. Perfect timing. Now, here's something I want to show you when it comes to taking the salmon. Remember, it's got, uh, and look too, our parchment paper is just fine. So I'll give you a look at our salmon. Yeah, it's a little hard holding that up. It's pretty hot. So, I've got the skin on, and sometimes I would scoop it up just with the skin. I can take the skin off. It's not that hard to do. This time I didn't. So guess what? There's our meal. That is a beautiful, healthy meal of broiled salmon with some quinoa, asparagus, and some other vegetable medley that was thrown in that frozen bag. That's a gourmet dinner. I mean, take a look. This is my dinner tonight. A beautiful glass of wine, some broiled salmon, some quinoa with asparagus and other vegetables. And we did that in less than 15 minutes. So don't tell me you don't have time to cook. You do. And it's healthier and better for you. Thanks, as always, for checking in. I can't tell you how much this means to me. It really does. You guys, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell anyone you know. May not be that entertaining, but again, consider the price. Have a good day and a better tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Bye.